Warning, the Animal Jam series Life is Full of Phantoms is intended for viewers 13 and up due to violence, frightening imagery, and mild language. If you are younger than 13 and can handle watching, however, I'm not stopping you from watching. Well done, you have come so far. They know who you truly are. You reached your final destination, and you never got a vacation. So long, you will never send. Good things must come to an end. Your goals have all been smothered. Nobody to blame but each other. You can try to fight over sword and fly, but when the story's done, the hero will be no one. Cause your days are numbered. I am you, but with all of your flaws removed. Kick your mother phantom bottom if you don't learn how to speak up. I don't understand a word you be saying, boy. But look, it's a mother phantom hummingbird. I know. <laughs> I know what a hummingbird is, Milo. But what? Well, but what about it? A mother phantom love hummingbirds. They're the best bird I've ever seen. You know what I want to do, Ellipsity? When I die and go to heaven, I want to be a mother phantom hummingbird, boy. I want to fly my mother phantom wings around the sky really quickly. Like a mother phantom helicopter. Come on, Lip City. You gotta agree. That hummingbirds are so neat. That I wanna find a mother phantom flower and drink all the nectar out of it using my super long beak. Well, what makes you think of death so soon, Milo? You're only 11 and you've only lived with me for three months. Well, because, Lip City, I could have died that night. If it weren't for you bringing me inside your cabin on that cold winter night, I could have died. And if I did die, I would wanna come back as a hummingbird and peck my mother's eyes out. <laughs> Peck your mother's eyes out? Look, Milo, I understand you're mad, but hating your mother isn't gonna change anything. At least you have a home to stay now. I mean, who the phantom am I talking to? I'll be going crazy today. Oh well. I'ma get home and... I'ma get home... Wait, where is my home? I guess I gotta call What's-His-Face, that fox. I don't even remember his name. Yes, it's working! First, he will find his lips in his name, and soon, he will disappear from all of his memories! I'm really sorry, we really did try everything, but there were so many snake eggs and venom inside his bloodstream, it was horrible to look at. One of the most traumatizing things I've ever seen in my 20 years of being a doctor. Dr. Andrews, this is the Pagophasmite we are talking about. He's incredibly popular in the Phantom World for his comic series. Can you imagine how his fans are going to feel? I urge you to try again. The Pagophasmite is not weak enough to die at the likes of Snake Venom. He saved my life! He can't be dead! I... I loved him. What? Matilda, you just met him. But he saved my life! If it weren't for him, I'd still be living with that tyrant Fracto! He really did the Four Kingdoms a huge favor. Now, King Fracto can no longer terrorize us with his eternal winter. Pekka will become a real legend now. 
Not just in his comic series. You never even read his comic series, Matilda. You even had to ask his name when you met him. How can you say that you love- Leave me alone, guys! This is why I broke up with you! You're so insensitive! I know I barely knew Peiko, but I could tell he was a true gentleman! Even when I had to marry Frock, though, he didn't get butthurt and run off the way you did! He did what he could to save me! Great, now you're comparing me to him? In case you weren't aware, I helped him save you, Matilda. Probably because he convinced you. I know you guys. You wouldn't just save someone out of the good of your own heart. You were never there for me when we dated. But Peiko, I barely knew him and he treated me better than you ever did in high school. He was a man. And what are you? The same insecure boy from high school. Uh, I can tell this news has hit both of you pretty hard. I should get going now. I was always there for you, Matilda. You just never appreciated it because I don't make enough money. But the moment you see that Spicer owns a nice volcano and is the star of his own comic series that I also had a supporting role in, you immediately fall in love with him? You shallow gold digger. Stop calling me that! You don't know me, guys! You don't know what I've been through in my life! You never cared to listen! You're the last person I'm going to discuss Peiko's death with! I'd rather discuss it with Veronica when she's conscious again! Matilda, wait! I waited long enough! You will never change, guys! Sloppy. Disorganized. Arrogant. Should have paid more attention to the No Jammer Zone. Look, I need to help my friends. Can you get out of my way? Your friends, you say? You already call these people your friends. That's your flaw, Ellipsity. You trust too easily. Who are you? What the heck are you? I am you, Ellipsity. But with all of your flaws removed. What flaws, exactly? My ability to think for myself? And there he goes. Believe me, he's perfect. Fracto was right about you. You are one arrogant little- How do you know about Fracto? How do you know so much about me? Your brother, or should I say, our brother, created a synthetic clone of you, using only a fur sample and a pill. He's a genius. Okay, sounds like something he'd do, but why? What does he want from me? What do you want from me? Huh. There's too much Scarletta in you for your own good, E. You're just as clueless and arrogant as she was. Have absolutely no idea what the consequences of her actions would be, and how her actions affected others. But I'll be sure to teach you that, and so will Fracto. You realize I'm nothing like my mother, right? It's not my fault that my mother decided to keep me away from Fracto all those years. Well... I'm afraid that's not my problem or Fracto's now, is it? It's yours. You're her son. You were the favorite, and you took away all the attention from Fracto. Somehow that's my fault? Look, go be a mindless clone elsewhere. I need to get out of here. Mindless? Ha! Listen here, fresh mouth. I am you, but with all of your flaws removed. Okay, you've made that pretty clear, but what exactly do you want? Oh, it's nothing I want, Ellipsity. It's what Fracto wants. I only want to remind you that your days are numbered. But Fracto wants a new you. One that respects him. One that treats him like an equal. One that doesn't outshine him. But you know who I do outshine? You. Everything you do, I can do better. And tell me this, Ellipsity. When there's a better version of you out there, who will even recognize that the old you is gone? What are you implying here? I don't have time for this. My friends are worried about me and I have an amulet they need. It's a good thing we're both handsome, Ellipsity, but there's one thing that you lack. Intelligence. What? How did you get your hands on that amulet? Are you for real? I knocked you out. There, um, might have been a chance that I took it from you while you were unconscious, idiot. Okay, so what is the point of all this? What are you gonna do to me? You obviously came here for a reason. Let's just say I'm gonna kick my own butt. <gasps> Perfect. You will stay frozen in this thousand-year-old goop preservation capsule. And unless someone breaks you out of here, you will never escape. Which is why I'm blowing up this lab's entrance. <gasps> yes! 
I have the time bomb ready. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, let's run. Hurry, Jimmy. Run. Hey guys, I'm here finally, and I have the other amulet. Where were you? We were worried. We all just got back from the hospital. Well, right after you guys escaped the lab, an explosion blocked the entrance, so I had to find another way out. Thank goodness you survived. I'm about to lose my crap if guys has to be the only man. Oops, I meant immature little boy in this house. Matilda, I said I was sorry. I was just confused as to why you fell in love with Spicer when you barely know him. Or knew him in this case. I, uh, I'm gonna go find a room. I don't want to be an intruder while you guys talk, so, uh... Matilda, I just want you to be happy. And I know that Spicer might have made you happy, but you barely knew him! What if he ended up being someone you completely despise? I mean, that's how things ended up with me. Oh, don't you dare do that! Do what, Matilda? Compare yourself to Peiko! You and him are nothing alike! Says the girl who compared me to him at the hospital earlier. What does it even matter if I liked Peiko or even loved him? Peiko is dead! Look, Matilda, I care about you and want you to be happy. Clearly, you are desperate for love right now. And as your ex, I just want to use my past experiences with you to guide you in the right direction. I don't want you getting hurt. Excuse me? Your past experiences with me? Wow, unbelievable. How little you must think of me. You think I'm a desperate clingy twit who can't find love, don't you? I'll have you know that I'm pretty good judge of character. Do you ever listen to yourself when you talk to me, Matilda? You stumble with your words. It's so obvious you are trying so hard to be confident and independent and failing miserably at it. So much for what you said on the boat ride. I'm independent. I want to keep it that way. And you're clearly a terrible judge of character if you pour your trust into strangers immediately. Ugh! You are so insensitive! Matilda, I just want you to understand that it is not wise for you to fall for someone you barely know. I mean, there are plenty of other options out there, people you've known for a while. Like me, you've known me for quite some time. I'm now paying the rent for the volcano home now that Spice is gone, and I'll be providing for everyone here now. I'll be getting a job. I'll be paying everything. <sighs> Don't you think it's time to put on your big girl pants and make the best decisions for yourself and your sister? Instead of your selfish love emotions? If I still had my powers, I would have roasted your ass already. What, Matilda? What am I doing wrong? Using your friend's death to get in a relationship with me, you complete sicko! So now that Peko is dead, it's the perfect excuse for sweet little powerless innocent Matilda to come running back to her ex because she's so desperate for love again, huh? Well, I've been through things since I was kidnapped by Lexi and taken to Imagua. Things you could never even conceive of! And that pussycat you knew from high school who was so desperate to get with any remotely attractive guy? She died a long time ago. Just as I said when we were at the castle, maldito hombre niño. Now could y'all keep it down? I'm rehearsing for my Cinderella audition. Life at home is already enough drama. Community theater drama can't be much worse. Oh, Master Fracto, everything is going according to plan. Those black eye contact lenses you gave me worked perfectly. Everyone thought I was the real ellipsity. And I must say, they've chosen quite the hideout in a volcano. Perfect. Now, I want you to find whatever you can find to frame Matilda for child abuse. And how do you propose I do that, Master Fracto? As far as I've gathered, Selena's very happy living here with Matilda. I don't know, get creative, you idiot! You are a lip city with the flaws removed, are you not? Maybe I could get a better idea of how to do this if you could explain to me why we're doing it. Fine! Matilda took something from me. She took my ice powers away. That bitch! Now that we're divorced, I want to take away what matters most to her, Selena. So make sure you find whatever you can to frame Matilda for child abuse and neglect. We'll report it to Child Protective Services, and she will lose custody of Selena. 
Why is this the role I was given in life? Wait, I think I have an idea. I'll call you back, Master Fracto. Who said you could hang up? Oh, huh? <laughs> Trying to survive. Shut up, Jimmy. The adults are having a conversation here. <laughs> Yourself, Jimmy. So, community theater drama can't be worse, eh? I'll be sure to hit record. If the family maid who does nothing but cook and clean hardly gets fed gets abused by my own family, what good could ever come out of this? I always get screamed at, beaten, smacked, singled out, left home alone while everyone else goes out to parties, and as soon as they come back, I'm given more chores to do, and I'm treated like I'm less than horse snot. All I can do during these difficult times is only dream that I can someday be rescued from this horribly abusive lifestyle. Not to worry, child. Soon you will get out of there. <laughs> this is going to be so much easier than we thought. Veronica, you're conscious again. <coughs> Where... <coughs> Where... Have I been? Well, you were last in Holman's laboratory with the others. You had your exorcism from what they told me. Oh. Holman. Are you feeling alright, Veronica? It just doesn't make sense. I thought I could trust Holman, and I know it sounds crazy, but ever since I was a child, I hated myself. I hated my life, and I didn't know how to get through it. When I was eleven, I was sent out by Vernon, my abusive legal guardian, to feed the horses, and when I was outside, I just didn't want to come back in. I was tired of being treated like a slave, so I took a bunch of Vernon's Holusha pills. I was going to overdose on them, and suddenly this soul approached me. He told me that he was my spirit guide who could help me stay alive. He could guide me through the difficult journey of life. I was so vulnerable and pathetic that I actually trusted him. He made a deal with me that if I let him use my body as a vessel for him, I would have his guidance, his full support and influence. He promised that he would lead me in the right direction. Then as the years went on, people began to fear me and despise me. The loser snake girl suddenly became the monster snake demon, but I didn't care. I was confident, I was feared, I was taken seriously for a change, just like I wanted to be all my life. I was so young and stupid and naive, I can't believe I let him sway me all these years. Veronica, I, I had no idea it was like that. I thought you were just overly angsty and ambitious, hence why you decided to use Spicer and I to help you find that laboratory. I thought you were just an all-around negative person. That's the thing. Holman always told me about that laboratory. That it was our destiny. That finding the Holman's amulets would be the key to unlocking a prosperous life. For years, I did whatever I could to achieve that goal. And now that we achieved it, it's only taken the life of Peiko. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't know that Holman was just using me to achieve his selfish goals. I was just his asset. Of course he was going to trick the naive, self-hating little sixth grade girl I was at the time. No one else would have been stupid enough to trust a spirit guide that wanted to use someone's body. <laughs> Veronica, I can't believe I never knew this. I never told anyone. This is my fault. I should have been the one to die in that laboratory, not Peiko. It was my mistake, not his. I'll never forgive myself. <laughs> control over my behavior when Holman took over my body. I didn't know how to treat Peiko or anyone with kindness. Alright, I'm back with the results, so all looks well. You will definitely survive, Veronica. But what you need is surgery on your AA. The apparition atmosphere, you know, that force field that keeps demonic souls from entering your body. It's been severely damaged over the years that Holman took control of your body, and 
You're gonna need some serious surgery to get that fixed up. Why are you only here, guys? Holman was right. The others don't care. They just wanted the amulets. Veronica, no, it's not like that. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. When Veronica starts acting up like this, it affects her overall body. She's still recovering and her soul needs to readjust to being the only soul in her body again. We need to work on keeping her emotions in check because any negative emotion can hinder her recovery. No, please, let me die. I don't deserve to live. <laughs> Look at what I've done to the love of my life. My best friend. <laughs> Sorry, fools, but there will be no giveaway this time, now that I'm in control. <laughs>